Hello, you wonderful people. I was actually gonna make a video about my favorite frameworks and share some of my favorite resources, but I'm still looking online and at the comments and I get comments like five years from now, 50% of developers are gonna be gone. Two years from now, from that point on, no developers are gonna be needed. Here is the thing, right? It's everybody's trying to ask these questions about a future that didn't happen yet. The fact is, we still need developers and we still need a lot of developers. The issue is that the way the market is right now, it is harder to get a job. Yes, true. There's a lot of competition. Yes, it's true, but there are still jobs. A lot of times when people talk about layoffs, they're talking about big companies, Amazon, you know, uh, Tesla, Nvidia, Twitter. They're not talking about HEB, the local grocery store, which is actually a huge chain uh, in Texas here, they actually have a very big tech department and they have a nice building here in Austin, Texas, and they haven't laid anybody off yet. So there are jobs available. And I think what, when people saying no one is hiring, maybe big companies are not hiring. Maybe the companies that you got to used to working at as a developer where you were making, you know, huge six figure salaries, but there are jobs some people are hiring and maybe they're not hiring for the same amount of money like they used to, but there's still need for developers. There's still many technical jobs that where you know how to code or you're technically literate, you could find. That's not what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about the fact that we all have to stop trying to psych ourselves out with a problem that didn't occur yet. And instead, focus on things that you need to do to get the job. And so if you're following a lot of YouTubers, me included, who tell you their opinion, try to follow some people that actually have some weight from the experience of being a developer for 20, 30 years. So this is one of my favorite channels, uh, new channels called Internet of Bugs. I suggest you go check out his videos. And he has very you know, common sense approach. Another channel that I really love, and I know you watch, if you don't watch Primogen, like you should watch Primogen because he also talks about these issues of like what people think. Will AI replace developers? And what he was saying, uh, and let's go to Primogen here. Primogen, Primogen, I don't know how to spell. Another person to follow, right? Someone who has been in the industry and he could tell you his opinion of what he thinks will happen to A. And, and there's this great video, should you still learn to code, um, by another great guy here. My God, there's so many ads here. First of all, instead of having to, oh, Jesus Christ, I don't want to watch this video. I just want to go to local host here and go and do this, create summary for me. So anyway, um, I'm building this app to summarize videos. You could learn all about here. I'll do a quick uh, plug here. If you go to YouTube, if you search Epic Next JS course, you could start here. Uh, this is basically the tutorial here. There's a whole playlist actually, if you go to Strappy. If you go with Strappy, there's this whole Epic Next.js 14 tutorial, uh, view full playlist. I'm adding videos daily, but what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to create this Summarize app that I have here, if you're wondering. So the idea here is that um, you gotta watch YouTubers that actually know what they're doing and their developers themselves have been in the industry. So, so they talk about AI and all this other stuff, but here the key takeaways here is just understanding the role AI is going to play as a tool, understanding the true essence of software development. Uh, believe it or not, those of you who are trying to jump into coding, you're not writing code 24 seven. There's a lot of tasks that go with being a software engineer. And so that's something important to understand. And moving forward, right? The idea is start to focus on more advanced and developing those problem solving skills that allow you to apply your knowledge to specific situation. And then they discuss like some of the things to focus on how to future proof your career. And so you don't have to listen to like YouTube bros, including me, watch people like Primogen, watch people like Internet of Bugs and realize that this idea of doom and gloom where developer jobs is just gonna disappear overnight is not a fact. You're a lot of people that are leaving comments how this is gonna disappear, that's gonna disappear. 
like, where are you getting these ideas from, right? I want to know, like, who, what secret do you know that I don't know? So the idea that somehow we're going to magically disappear overnight is just, I have no idea where that's coming from. And so what's happening, a lot of you newer folks who are looking to get into development, looking to get your first job, you're getting freaked out and you're trying to quit. I mean, if AI is going to replace everybody, if AI is going to replace developers, it's not just developers is going to replace, it's going to replace nurses, lawyers, finance, it's going to replace everybody. And then there'll be nobody left to pay and buy stuff to feed the economy. So what's going to happen? Are we going to automate all the people uh, and no one is going to be able to do any work? I think things are going to change and the tools like AI tools will help us do things better, but their jobs are not going to disappear. There might be, a, there's a slowdown in hiring, right? Because of the economy and the competitiveness of it, but it doesn't mean that there's no jobs. And a lot of times the truth, like you got to watch someone like Coding Face, right? If you go on Coding Face, so let's look up this guy, Coding Face, right here. He, he talks about breaking into the industry, right? And everybody who follows his channel, they're all getting jobs. And he says, hey, there's jobs that on the way to becoming a software engineer, you could take like email developer or content manager where you do some basic CSS and HTML and stuff like that. So the point is a lot of times when people are saying, I can't get hired, they're talking about very specific roles, but there's lots of different roles that are in the tech industry, which revolve around coding, which you could get into and build your experience and grow yourself and continue to look for your dream job. And so this idea that there's no jobs left for anybody, AI is gonna take everything over, it's, to me, it's really wild at this point because I think we just pre, we, we getting scared prematurely. It's like, imagine I say to you, like, I'm gonna punch you in the face at some point. And you're like, ah, he's going to punch me in the face. I, and you just worried all the time, right? And it's like, and I never do, right? It just never happens. And you're worrying this whole time on this premise that I told you something. And that whole time you're like, Paul told me he's going to punch me in the face. And like, and you're worried and you're stressed out and you, but it didn't happen and it, it have yet to happen. And so I think like, I'm not saying don't take AI seriously and don't learn the tools, but a lot of people are reacting to something that did not happen yet. Once you see you know, 30, 40% of people being laid off in an industry, and believe me, it's not just gonna be developers, right? It might be nurses, it might be you know, lawyers, it might be like finance people, you know, white collar workers, whatever it is. You know, and if you see like where the world is going with the robots and stuff like that, I mean, like you could make this argument that everybody's gonna be replaced. And so I'm just really like crazy fired up because I'm like, where are we getting this information that jobs are gonna go away and there's gonna be no work? I, I honestly have no idea. Until someone could show me that, I'm gonna be like, hey, don't worry, if you wanna be a developer because you love it, you love problem solving, go for it. You wanna be a nurse, go for it. You want to be a plumber, go for it. But this insanity has got to stop. And I, I didn't want to make this video. The reason I'm making this video is because this is just so wild to me. So, um, you know, I, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So here's the thing. Like, if you made it this far, I'm going to say, if you have a passion and you want to pursue something, just do it. And just be flexible enough that you could pivot. And in my previous video, I talked about, you know, some of the things that I'm going to do as a developer to help me continue to stay relevant. And this is just something that's going to be part of our life. But the point is the shift going from developer jobs to no developer jobs with the market decreasing by 50% or 40% that you can't find a job, that's just not going to happen overnight or over many, many years, right? because we don't know, we don't know. The government might say as a company, you need to, by percentage, have this many human employees, right? You don't know if they're not gonna say that. And so this has been like the most craziest rant ever, but I just wanted to kind of say this because I am so riled up at the fact that you watch these people comment on YouTube, on everywhere that are talking about a problem that doesn't exist yet, meaning 
there's still jobs. There's still people hiring. Is it easy to get a job? No, it's still hard to get a job. It's always been uh, difficult. I've never had the opportunity where getting a job was easy. But if you want to do something, you just have to do it well. So if you want to be a developer, strive to be a good developer. If you want to be a plumber, strive to be a good plumber. And that's it. And I don't even know why I record this video. But because I already put all this effort, I'm just going to put it on YouTube anyway and see people trash talk in the comments because I always appreciate it. So thanks so much. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.